gonna be doing is do an unboxing video and we're also going to test out the product. I got this in the mail today. I had my wife uh, look inside of it really quick to see if it's in a certain way, which I'm disappointed that this was not packaged in its original packaging. This is brand new. This is not a factory blemish or a refurbished item. This is brand new. I, but I was hoping for the original detailed uh, box for it so I could display it on the camera. But I received it like this and... Uh, we are going to test it out on uh, this helmet, which I got uh, from a Facebook group called uh, the 405th. What the 405th is, it's a Halo costume group to where people exchange information and uh, uh, upload their posts, their, their builds, and the progress of the builds to help each other out for... for when it's needed. So I got this as a gift from uh, from one of the one of the group members. I got this a few years ago, which it's still in its raw form. Uh, as you guys know, on the costume, that's the one that I made from from scratch. This one is someone else made from scratch, and uh, and yes. Yeah, so I'm going to actually use this helmet for the uh, Ryobi costume. It is the Halo 5 Noble helmet, and I can't wait to uh, finally cut this visor out. So, let's get to unboxing this. Alright, so what I got here is the Ryobi uh, Rotary Tool Station. And it has some quite interesting stuff in it I am I was excited to to receive this you know what? we're gonna change this we're gonna change this angle I don't like this angle all right that's better so so I was surprised that this came out right now which I'm excited about this the Ryobi Dremel rotary station uh, it actually it's uh, there's actually a lot in here, which I'm surprised, but I was hoping for the original packaging that came with it, the art packaging. But I just it just it came brand new in this uh, Ryobi uh, Rotary Tool Kit box like this, you know, just a regular box. But it's okay, I think it will survive. I think it will survive. So, what this kit comes with, of course, instructions, yeah, just instructions, warranty, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the battery charger, the battery charger is actually, this is bigger than I thought it would be. These are, you just put it on like this, actually you have it like that, and then it charges. So you can all hang it on the wall still, which actually that's pretty cool, I wonder how fast I do wonder how fast this would charge, like, but we will test that out in the future. We will see. So yes, that is that that adapter is actually big compared to the regular plug that you usually get. But yeah, that's actually an interesting charger. I like that. That's bigger than I thought it would be. So I'm curious because it's the new technology. So I'm wondering how fast this charges. We are gonna find that out. All right, the next thing it comes with. It comes with a 1.5 amp hour battery. I like that. The, there's no fuel gauge on it, just the regular. It says 1.5 on the side. Now, the, these ones, uh, that's a 2 amp. Two amp. I don't have any uh, one point, other 1.5s right here, but, but yeah, this one's flat out black. It's the same as the two, but it's 1.5. Uh, let's see the wattage. 1.52, 18 volts, 27. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, comes with a 1.5 amp hour battery. So it comes with. I'm gonna assume that this is a a holster. 
So yes, this is gonna, we'll find out what exactly where to put that. Look at that, that's nice. It feels solid too, that feels, it, it has some weight to it. It feels really, really good in your hands. It feels really good in your hands and uh, and yeah, this one does have an on and off switch. This one is not, you, you do not push the, the dial down. This one actually has a switch on its own. So yeah, that's, uh, you can mount it to the wall uh, as you please. So it doesn't have, I'm just curious if this has, it is not hybrid. This is not a hybrid model. So you do, could only use the battery on this, which actually, I'm pretty sure in the future they'll make another one to where it's a hybrid. But yeah, it has your little caddy right here for your jumble parts and a special area for your wrench. So that's actually, I like that. I, I like the way that looks. That looks pretty good. It looks very good. So, okay, next. It does come with uh, with bits. Comes with an assortment of bits. I'm wondering if it has my uh, cutting bit in here. No. You. It has a cutting bit, but not the one that I use. That's all right, because I I do have the I do have the the cutting not the cutting bit. The uh, I have the. Uh, I, forget, I don't know what it's called. You guys will see it soon. But yeah, it does come with a big assortment of bits, which is good. It's better than not having a big assortment of bits to start you out with. It, it is better to go, go get... Yeah, I know, I do know that these bits are expensive, but getting the right bit that you need is worth it because... Uh, it, it, it just makes your job that much easier for what you have to do. And this, ooh, that that feels that feels solid in your hand. That feels really solid in your hand. That does that grip too. That that grip. Yeah, that feels good. That feels really, really good in your hand. I, I like that. I like that. Now the threads right here are the same plastic as the body, so, uh, but they're but they're thick threads. So as long as you don't like pretty much, man. Let's see here. There is a stem in there that you are gonna have to coordinate uh, that with the one in here. So because I'm assuming that this is what uh, turns and then that turns this tool so those two together have to go have to uh, the shape needs to match I go down the shape needs to match to go in there so let's see if we could All right, I think I got it uh, garbage 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 I am not throwing away the, the instructions and warranty I'm gonna stick that into my in instructions and warranty bag but this is what you get with the tool and it's it's actually I love that it's solid I mean that thing is solid it feels good it does not feel cheap it does not feel like it's cheap out of made out of cheap material we're gonna test this out turn this on put it to the normal max that is on all right, so once you click on, it stays on by itself. I like I like that dial. I like that. Ooh. Ah, okay, you push that. All right, you see this right here? You push, focus. You push this in, then you could 
change out your bit. So that's how that works. You push. It's actually a clever design, where it's not in the way. To have this this small, because even if this is placed somewhere else, it's not. It's not in my way. It's, I'm not having something bulky in my hand like that. I like that. <laughs> it is. A, it does. It is a bit noisy, but any rotary slash Dremel tool is noisy. I have not seen or heard of a quiet Dremel tool yet. Every Dremel tool that I'm around is loud. I like that though. I like that. So like this kit, we're going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, in a minute or two, put the bit that I use on this and we're going to cut this face plate out and see on how well it uh, see on how well it works. And so yes, th this thing is good. This is what it, the, I got the kit. This is what the kit comes with. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. Ooh, I forgot about this. We got to put this on. So that goes on like that. Yes, it does. Bingo. All right, so then I guess uh, that slides on like that. Then there you go, and that's your, that's the that's the kit right there. Yeah, I like that charger. That charger is interesting. I like that that's cool. I like that. Imagine if this is a hunk up on the wall like that, and you don't, and you're you're always close by. Just do that and do what you got to do, then put it back up. I like that. I like that. 1.5. Uh, no, that's the, that's the wrong one. Uh, 1.5. And so yes, this is what you. This is what you get in the uh, in the kit. It's right there. Is it worth the money? Yes, I think it is. I think it is. And yeah, what I, I am gonna do is after I do this, I'm gonna show you guys what all the bits that come with it. Is it, I, I didn't think I, you would get this many bits, which it's actually awesome. How many you get? Come on, there. Alrighty, so let's see what this does. Is that of the shot? Yes, it is. Been, it's been a long time since I did this. I'm thinking, why am I blowing on this when I have a blower that I can blow on it for me?
that's good enough. Wow. I love these tools. See, this has never been, this has never gone this easy like this before. So now, just like that, the visor is now cut out. And that was so easy to use. This was so easy. I mean, having this wand like that, that is awesome. Because every time I had to cut out a visor or use a Dremel tool, I had a big bulky thing. It had a lot of power, but it was bulky. And you had to balance this to a certain, then your fingers start hurting because you have to uh, press on it like that. This, you barely have to hold this. I mean, because it's so lightweight, you know, it just, it just glided right on through. That is seriously awesome. I thank you, Ryobi, for making a Dremel like this. This is amazing. I love it. So how much did that did that take? Barely anything. It's at four bars still. It's at four bars. I think I should have worn different clothes for this, though, because th these are my chilling pants, which I now i got to put them in the wash. But, but yeah, this thing, this thing is amazing. This thing is awesome. I love this. This is perfect for what I need it for because the Dremel tool is what helps me carve the details and smooth certain areas out to where a sander is too big to get to. But but yeah, this thing is awesome. So now what I want to do is really quickly show you the, the bits that come with this. So yeah, because how this goes, it goes on like that and just to let you guys know what i have to do you know just like you saw on my other suit it has that gold visor that's i uh i vacuum formed that i made the visor then vacuum formed it which i don't have my vacuum former anymore so i'm gonna have to build one so that is gonna be in a uh, future episode where i'm gonna build uh a custom vacuum former All right so you this these are the bits that come with it I do not know what these are called. I do not know, but uh, you get some, what is this? Looks like a liquid. Uh, I do not know what that is. You get uh, different, uh, a lot of different types of uh, sanding discs at different grit, uh, at different grit. So that's what you get. And when it comes to the actual bits, I think it's a, it's a stone bit. You get a stone bit. You get another stone bit. Another stone bit. You get the, this is the adapter, adapter for the, for the sanding discs. You get another adapter for a sanding disc. Uh, I, I don't know what you could put on that. I forgot. It's a one with a thread on it. And you get a cutting, you get a cutting one and you get a uh, actual disc, uh, which actually this doesn't, yeah, it comes with, this does come with a couple of discs that are, that are in there, but a couple of cutting wheels right there. So yeah, so that's that's the cutting wheel adapter. And it comes with this it comes with this this one. This uh uh I don't know what it's called. I don't know what this exact bit is called. Sorry if there we go. So yeah, you get that one. That's what you get in the shot, which is I'm gonna the the caddy is awesome. This is made out of the same material as the grips, like on the on the screwdrivers. So yeah, it's it's nice. It's a nice unit. It really, it truly is. I do hope that this unboxing was in, uh, very informal for you for what you will be getting in the box. Uh, yes. So my per my main purpose of it is going to be for the costume. Of course, I'm going to use it here and there on other stuff. But my purpose for main purpose I use this for is the costume, which. Uh, I'll be working with Laughing Dragon Foundries, which my friend James, to uh, help me build this Halo suit, which is going to be good. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be exciting, so stay tuned for that. 
I uh, got to build a vacuum former. Like I said, there are a ton of projects happening. But yeah, this is Dave and Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.